what do we do to honor our pastor? Well, one of the ways that, which I'm going to point out today, which is point number three, you biblically honor your pastor by giving to him. Now, I'll show you this in Scripture, but I'm not just, I'm talking about, I'm going to talk about it from a financial sense, but I want you to also see that you honor your pastor by giving him prayer. How many know I need prayer? Yes. Amen. Listen, this is nothing to play with up here. Here's the interesting thing about being a pastor. If you are a good leader, you should be able to lead and bleed and people not know it. See, I don't bleed down. I bleed up. See, bleeding down is when I'm telling all of y'all my problems. Every Sunday, I'm preaching about something to somebody, and I, I'm all caught up. And, and, I'm, and this is why people be like, oh, I just had a meeting with the pastor. He just talked about me the whole Sunday. He bleeding. No, 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 no. I bleed up, not down. So you know what? When I'm having an issue or whatever, guess what? My pastor's going to hear about that. Listen, they have been for 17 years, walked me through what I've walked through. And let me tell you something. Though I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I was fear no evil because God is with me. Yeah, he's with me and my pastors are too. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you biblically. So g- listen, give your pastor your prayers. Listen, give me your obedience. You say, I ain't obeying nobody. Well, mm, I don't know. <laughs> listen. Give him your loyalty. Give him your support for the vision. Amen. Give him your love. Say amen to that. Give him your grace because I'm not perfect and y'all already know that. So I'm going to, you know, you're going to see the the closer you get, you know, to something, the more you can see. Do you know you typically you can't see the flaws in a diamond unless you look at one of those eye loops. Right. So the closer you get to somebody, I mean, the staff know, they know, they know, they, they see all three of me regularly. You got Evan, you got Pastor Evan, you got Elder Evan. They see Elder Evan a whole lot in the staff meeting, right? First Timothy chapter 5, let me show you how you biblically honor your pastor by giving to him. It says, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in the word and doctrine. We never read verse 18. For the scripture says, do not muzzle the ox which treads out the corn. The laborer is worthy of his reward. Now watch this, church. The word honor in that verse where it says double honor, it means, it has two meanings. The first meaning, it means to uh, honor that outranks others. So he's saying when you honor your pastor, that senior leader, he says make sure that honor outranks anybody else's honor. But then what it goes on to say, the second uh, word or meaning for that word honor, watch this, it means to value. Here's an interesting uh, meaning. It means money paid. Wow. And it means to esteem at, uh, at the highest degree. So this particular word, honor, is connected to, watch this now, some tangible things. Notice he says money paid. I left that definition there. I even gave you the Greek word or the Greek number there so you can go and look it up. And there are many verses in the Bible that talk about it. Remember when uh, Judas, remember when he betrayed Jesus with those pieces of silver? It uses the word price. The word price is the word honor. In other words, this honor here has a tangible assignment to it. And see, most people have a problem giving to a pastor. Here's why I'm teaching it. Because my thing is, you can choose to give or not give. I've just learned how to do this. And this is one of the things that has changed my life. This past year, uh, I had an opportunity to honor my pastor like y'all doing with me. And uh, I counted up, I added up how much I gave my pastor so far this year. And you know what? I've given my, my pastor over $17,000. Now watch, yes, go ahead and clap. That's good. Look at your neighbor and say, I wish I was his pastor. <laughs> 17 grand. But watch this though. Watch this. If you go back and look in 2021, at the end of the year, I prophetically declared that increase was coming to, this, to, to everybody. So the first part of this year, I gave the biggest tithe I have ever given in my life to Word of Truth Family Church. And the tithe that I gave was not connected to my paycheck here. Okay, so the, the biggest tithe I gave had nothing to do with the church, right? But watch this. So I give the biggest tithe. Of course, I give the biggest offering to Word of Truth. But then I give my man of God the biggest seed I've ever given him. Do you think it's a coincidence that one of my speaking engagements this year, someone gave me the biggest honorarium I have ever had in my life? 
Everybody say there's a connection. There's a connection. So this word honor is money paid. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump down because I want to read 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 17 in the New Living Translation. This is what it says. Elders who do their work well should be respected and what? 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 Paid well. You know, it's only in the church. How many want to be paid well? Be honest, raise your hand. Want to be well. Okay, so let me ask you. Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. You want to be paid well? Look at your neighbor and say, my hand is up. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Would it be wrong for me to want to be paid well? No. You know what's interesting about church people? I love church people, though, because God's called me to pastor y'all. I love y'all, right? I love y'all. So here, here's what's interesting is that uh, I teach you all to have dreams and to go for the best. But I can't do that. I mean, not me. An uh, average pastor can't do that. Because y'all already know, Pastor Evan. I mean, come on. It is what it is, right? Right. So watch this. He says, elders who do their work well should be paid well, especially those who work hard at both preaching and teaching. For the scripture says, you must not muzzle an ox to keep it from eating as it treads out the grain. And in another place, those who work hard deserve their pay. Listen to the living Bible of that verse. I'm almost done here. Listen to the living Bible. Because I want you to get a scriptural context about giving. I, I, I know y'all love me and y'all going to bless me. But I, I want you to bless me with a principle in mind. He says, the living Bible says this. Pastors who do their work well should be what? Paid well. And then highly appreciated. I like that. Especially those who work hard at both preaching and teaching. Listen to the message translation. This one is awesome. It says, give a bonus to leaders who do a good job. How many like a bonus? Let me see your hand. Uh, look, if you don't like it, give it to me. It says, give a bonus to those who what? To do, who do it. Now, now, I mean, you know, I try to hit a home run every Sunday. I might not. Sometimes I just hit it and I get on first base. But, you know, either way, most of the time, y'all going to get something out of what I'm teaching, right? He says, listen, give a bonus. to, And that's what y'all doing today. Y'all giving me a bonus. But here's what I believe. I'm going to show you my next point. I'm going to show you that God honors us when we honor him. 